Hey guys, Megan here from Growing Up Herbal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then I'm super grateful you're here. And if you've seen some of my content before, then welcome back. I hope you guys all enjoy today's video. So today I thought I would share some of my favorite, mostly natural laundry products with you. These are things that I use either consistently or as needed in my laundry routine. And I have mm, about 10 products maybe a little less than that to share with you today. I hope you guys find all of this very helpful and beneficial and maybe some of this stuff you haven't heard of before and it can give you some ideas on how to kind of clean up your laundry routine at home. So if you find this video helpful, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the bell to turn on notifications so that you know when new videos are available each week. So. With all of that said, let's get into my laundry care routine. Okay, so before I get into sharing the products with you, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be covering four different areas of laundry. First, we'll be talking about what I use to wash my laundry with. Then I'll talk about how I scent my laundry, either when I'm cleaning it or afterwards. I'm also gonna talk about natural, mostly natural, stain remover and um, ironing, like some natural things that I use when I'm ironing, okay? Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you are the products that I use to wash our clothes. So these are like natural detergents that I use to wash everything in our house. Clothes, bedding, linens, everything. All right, so the first thing, and this is the thing that I use most often, is this Ecos Plus laundry detergent. I buy this at Sam's Club. I can't remember how much it costs. And I'm not sure if it's available on Amazon or not, but if it is, I will link to it in the description box below so you guys can check it out. It's a plant-powered cleaner. It's not tested on animals. It's safe for your septic system. It's safe for people with um, sensitive skin. Um, let's see what else. It actually has some stain-fighting enzymes in it. And looking at the ingredients list, it looks really, really clean. So I really love this stuff. It has a lavender scent. Your clothes are not going to come out of the wash smelling uh, really strongly of lavender. They just come out smelling clean with a light scent of lavender. So again, this is what we use almost always when we wash our clothes. Now, if for some reason I run out, let me grab this stuff. If for some reason I run out of that, then I use this Branch Basics laundry detergent. Branch Basics is one of my favorite natural cleaning products. They offer a concentrate and then you just fill the concentrate with a certain amount of water depending on what you're using to clean. And I use it for almost all of my homemade cleaners. I don't often use it for laundry, but I do use it if I'm out of the Ecos and I need something to wash our clothes in. So instead of running to the store and grabbing something that's not so natural and filled with chemicals and fragrances and dyes that I don't want because I'm in a pinch and I need something to wash our clothes, I have this because I always have Branch Basics Concentrate on hand. So basically, you fill this bottle with a certain amount of water and then you fill it with a certain amount of the concentrate. You can add essential oils if you want. You shake it up really well and that is a concentrated laundry detergent. If you're doing a full load of laundry, then you can fill this cap all the way to the top. And if you're doing a half load of laundry, you fill the cap halfway full. You dump it into your water as it's filling, put your clothes in, and then wash your clothes, and they come out really nice and clean. So I really do like using this stuff if I don't have any of the Ecos on hand. Okay, so the next set of products that I wanna share with you are things that I use to boost the scent of our clothes. So besides having laundry detergent that has a light lavender scent, sometimes I like to use other products that give my clothes a little bit of a boost, whether it's during the wash cycle, whether it's when I'm drying the clothes, or whether it's like later on after the clothes have been dried, sorted, put away, that kind of thing. Um, so there are three different products that I use. This first one I have been using for years, and I actually have a blog post on my blog about how to make it. I call these scent boost crystals. Now, you'll have to forgive my jar. It's been in the laundry room and it tends to be moist in there. So my lid is a little worse for wear, but it's okay. These are super easy to make and they're very cheap and healthier compared to scent boost crystals that you can buy in the store. So this is basically essential oils and some sort of salt. I'm using Epsom salt, but you can use any kind of salt that you want. 
And I used to use these when I was first washing my clothes. Like I would put the detergent in and then I would put some scent boost crystals in to let it dissolve in the hot water as the washing machine was filling. But I didn't notice as much of a scent when I was done washing and drying my clothes. And what I started to do was instead of putting this in when the clothes are washing, I actually take some hot water, my fridge pr makes hot water, and I add some hot water into this downy ball, and then I put about a tablespoon of my Scent Boost Crystals into the downy ball. I seal it, I shake it, and I drop that in when the laundry has all been put in, the wash, and it's filling up. And then this will open up during the rinse cycle and release this scented water and it kind of helps the essential oils kind of stick to the clothes. Now, somebody asked me in a comment on that blog post a long time ago if it left stains on the clothes, and I have never noticed this leave stains on the clothes from the essential oils in the Scent Boost Crystals, and I think it's because there's just not a ton of oil in the water. Um, it kind of gets spread around amongst the clothes. But anyway, I feel like I get better results when I take the clothes out of the washing machine. They have... I can smell it a little bit more if I use this during the rinse cycle and you need the downy ball to do that because I don't wanna take the time to open the machine up when I notice it's rinsing and put the salt in. I would rather just do it all when I originally put everything in the wash. So the downy ball really helps with that. Um, now I do tend to use citrus essential oils. When I'm talking about the scent for most of these things, I'm using citrus essential oils. I feel like they have, um, their scent lasts a little bit longer. Um, so like orange or grapefruit or lime or lemon or any of those citrusy type oils. I feel like the scent just lasts longer and I can smell that on my clothes that they just smell fresher. So I don't know if that's in my head or there's actually something behind that, but that's the way I feel. Um, also, I found out that citrus essential oils actually help to brighten your clothes a little bit. So they smell good and they brighten your clothes, so that's good. So that's one thing that I use while I'm washing the clothes. In the rinse cycle, this opens up and helps to add a little bit of extra scent to the water so that your clothes smell nice. Now, the next thing that I use is when I put my clothes in the dryer, I use wool dryer balls. Now, these are brand new. My other ones look really, really, really rough. So these are not gonna be pretty forever if you're actually using them. They kind of get little blint balls on them and everything like that. But I just got these in the mail um, and so I'm gonna replace my old ones with these new ones and what I do with these is I just keep them in my dryer like all the time they just stay in the dryer and every once in a while I'll take one out I'll smell it and if it has no smell then I add more essential oils to it so I wanted to tell you again these are citrus essential oils but I wanted to share with you what I'm using because I use different essential oil brands for different things so I have Eden's Garden Essential Oils, and this is their lemon, I don't know if you can see that. Then I have Plant Therapy's lemon, and then I have this one from Vitacost, their lemon. So sometimes when my cleaning products, I don't wanna use more expensive essential oils, I'll use like cheaper essential oils that I can buy in larger bottles. And so Vitacost is a great one. You can also go on Amazon and buy the Now brand essential oils. And I will use that when I'm doing my scent boost crystals or when I'm scenting my wool dryer balls. Other times um, I'll use Eden's Garden or Plant Therapy oils. They have great prices on their oils and they're really high quality oils. I really like those companies. But again, citrus essential oils on the balls whenever um, I want them to smell fresh. And this helps because if they're bouncing around with the clothes in the dryer tumbling and the oils are volatile, so the heat helps them to disperse in the air and then it kind of gets on your clothes and leaves them with a fresher scent when they come out of the dryer. So this is the second product that I use to scent my clothes. And the last one that I wanted to share with you is something that I use when my clothes are, you know, been out of the laundry and they've been folded and put up. I use hydrosols or linen sprays. Like you can actually make a linen spray with water, essential oil, and I think sometimes people put some alcohol in there to make it shelf stable. But I prefer to just use hydrosols because they're already shelf stable and they have a really strong scent. Now this is from Plant Therapy. This is their lavender hydrosol. I have some others. I have chamomile um, and you can get peppermint. You can get a bunch of different ones from them. I think they even have rose and maybe some other versions. You can even make hydrosols at home. I have a blog post on how to make a lavender hydrosol at home, and I'll put that link in the description box below. I will say that I have found that homemade hydrosols do not last as long. They're not as shelf stable 
as these hydrosols that come from these companies because they're like more legit. They're like more professionally made, like in an actual steel and all of that stuff. So if you make a homemade hydrosol, you want to keep it in the refrigerator. This, I do not keep these in the refrigerator and they're not cloudy or anything. Um, yeah, and they work really, really well. They smell so good. So all I do is like if I want my linens to smell good, you can spritz this on them. If let's say you take a coat out of your closet that you wore last winter and you haven't worn it all year and you want to just give it like a fresh scent, you can spray these hydrosols on them, whatever scent that you prefer. So this is the third type of product that I use to help scent my clothes when um, I wanna just give them a little bit of a scent boost because it's been a while since they've been washed or something like that. Okay, so the third type of natural products, well, here's where the mostly natural products comes into play is for stain removal. So for the most part, I use this Branch Basics Oxygen Boost powder to remove stains on my clothes. So the way I use this is two different ways. First, if I'm washing white clothes and they're looking a little dull and I wanna give them a little bit of a boost, maybe remove some of the stains in them, I will fill my bathroom sink with hot, hot water. I'll plug the sink, fill it with hot water and I'll put a couple scoops of this in, mix that up and dissolve it and then I'll put my white clothes in there and let them soak. And then I'll toss them in the wash and wash them as normal. And that'll help give them a little brightening and boosting power. The other way that I use this is for actual stains. So if there are like, I spilled red wine on my white duvet one day. And what I did is I made a really concentrated version of this with some boiled water and um, a couple of scoops of this and I dissolved more of this into the boiled water and I just kind of poured that over that wine stain and it brought it right out. It was amazing. And so sometimes I'll use this um, really concentrated in mixed in water. So it's really concentrated on stains and that will help remove the stains. Now, if I have four boys and we have lots of stains and another thing that we have sometimes is bloody noses. And if one of the boys has a bloody nose or they got cut or scraped and then they have a blood stain on their clothes, I will often use hydrogen peroxide to get that out of their clothes. And this works really well. I basically just hold the clothes over the sink, squirt some of the peroxide on it, rub it together, do that a few times and then rinse it out and toss it in the laundry and the blood stains come out every single time. So I do like using hydrogen peroxide for that as well. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna share with you, which is not natural at all, but sometimes is necessary, specifically when the boys get grass stains on their knees, on their jeans, and I didn't know, and it's just set, and the stain has kind of just kind of bound to the fabric. So I use this OxyClean Max Force. I buy these on Amazon. You can buy them in like, three to five of them at a time and get a better price. This stuff works amazingly well to get stains out that won't come out with the more natural options or the more natural products. Um, I will say though that when you use this on, like I can put this on the knees of one pair of jeans and then when I throw those in the washing machine and I wash it, the whole entire load of laundry smells like this. This has, it has a really clean smell but it is a very, very strong smell. Um, so if you have sensitive skin and you are sensitive to scents, you probably will not like this. Maybe they have like a free and clear version that doesn't have a scent. I need to look into that. I'm not sure that they do, but I have used this OxyClean Max Force. It's a pre-treater gel stick um, for years and it works really well. Now, thankfully, I barely ever use this. I, I don't remember the last time. I, this is probably two years old. So I haven't used this in a while because between those um, oxygen boost crystals from Branch Basics and the hydrogen peroxide, I tend to do fine getting stains out. I have gotten to where if the boys stain their clothes or if I accidentally stain something, I quickly grab it and pre-treat it right away instead of letting the stain sit on the clothes and then it kind of becomes bound in those fibers of the fabric. Okay, so the last product that I wanna share with you is something that I use whenever I am ironing clothes. And I will say that's not often, but if for some reason I leave clothes in the laundry basket too long, which happens sometimes, and hanging it up in my closet doesn't bring the wrinkles out, or throwing it back in the dryer and giving it a tumble for 30 minutes doesn't bring the wrinkles out, or even hanging it up while I'm taking a shower in the bathroom and all that steam doesn't bring the wrinkles out, 
I will use a homemade starch. Now this recipe, it's called Outlander Starch, and this recipe comes from Angela of Parisian Farm Girl. She has a YouTube video about how she makes this. And basically it's hot water mixed with cornstarch and a specific blend of essential oils that reminds her of Outlander. So she's a big Outlander fan and I love Outlander too. And I tried making this and it smells so, so good. So this is my go-to whenever I have to iron anything that has a lot of wrinkles and I need them to come out. Or sometimes you just want like your linen tablecloths or your linen bed sheets to be nice and crisp. Now I'm not talking about like overly starch where things are really stiff. I'm talking about like a certain amount of cornstarch with mostly water and some nice essential oils and it gives it a nice finish, but it's not too like hard or uncomfortable. So I actually make this up whenever I need to iron and I want anything to have that nice semi starch feel to it. So this is really easy to make. I will link to her video in the description box below and maybe I'll even stick it up here if I can. <laughs> All right, so Thank you guys so very much for watching today's video. I hope seeing how I do my laundry routine as naturally as possible um, has been helpful to you. If it has, again, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the bell to turn on notifications for new videos. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything that I've talked about here, definitely leave me a comment and I will get back to you. And um, if you have any tips or suggestions for other ways to, have, to do natural laundry care or you wanna tell me what you do that maybe I didn't mention here because I've not tried it, I would love to know that. I would love to know your tips. I would love to know how you handle certain situations or if you have experience with different brands or different products that you've used that I've not talked about here. I would love to hear all of it. So just share away with me in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care. Thank you.